Hello, Nari McDiamond for Aspermont, and it's great to be speaking with Dr. Colin Nexip, Chief Technology Officer with iLuca here at Future of Mining Perth. And Colin, you've just been on a panel talking about net zero, the drive towards that. What do you believe will be the drivers towards net zero? Uh, look, there's many drivers, um, but it probably starts with people. Um, and that's because if we're going to actually execute on the decap strategy, it's going to require people. And so in my view, it's a, a bit of the old cliche, people process, then, then technology. Uh, I think the, the big issue uh, for us is it's a human factors um, journey. So how do we get through the change management curve as quick as we can? And the technology is actually an outcome of that because it's a different way of working. How do you, how do you go quick? On, on the development. Uh, having said that, you don't wanna make a bunch of old mistakes. So how do you actually learn from others? And, and you might make a few new mistakes, but hopefully you don't make a bunch of old ones. And uh, just leverage off other industries. Um, and yeah, it's kind of the build of the plane as we're flying it, so to speak. So we've gotta be agile. Well, speaking of leveraging off other industries, a great example that you gave in the panel here today earlier was what you liken to the keyhole surgery of mining, and that's something that Alouk is trying that's a bit different. Could you elaborate on that? Sure. We have a, we have a project in New South Wales called Balranel. It's a mineral sands operation that's going to produce uh, rare earths and some, some um, titanium and zircon minerals. What's new about it, though, is um, traditionally with mineral sands mining, you use you know, bulldozers to push sand or you're often dredging you know, a pond, or basically with water and sand. The difference with this technology is we're actually using a horizontal um, directional drilling technology. So it's basically adopted from the oil and gas industry, but it's never been applied in mineral sands before. What does that mean? Well, it, um, it's about a kilometre and a half distance and you're basically drilling about a kilometre and a half and then mining about 60 metres below the water table. What does that mean? That means you're not disturbing the surface. You're not having to remove all this overburden. So you don't need all these trucks and all this fuel. And you're actually re-injecting the fine tails back into the voids through, through the technology. It's basically a, a, a one and a half kilometre sandworm. And if you probably imagine yourself on a you know, 18th floor of a building, uh, say here in Perth and you look across the river, you're essentially, that's the distance and the drop that you're talking about that you're mining on a, you know, a diameter of about this big. Um, so it's a zero operator entry environment, so you can't exactly walk the, the mine site, so to speak. So you have to rely on a lot of sensor technology uh, to know basically what you're doing. And uh, it's very new for us, but we're very excited about it as well, because it allows a very keyhole surgery approach to, to mineral sands operations. Mm, something totally different. Very different. Well, Colin, what enticed you to come to Future of Mining Perth? Uh, look, it's a good question. I, I, uh, I, I probably should mention I, I just relocated to Perth last year after about a decade and a half in the US and I'd always seen the, the future of mining coming up and I was always looking for an excuse to come over, to be honest, um, and it just never quite happened. And then last year I was, I was in Perth, but I, as in uh, over here, but I was actually overseas at the time, so I wasn't able to make it. So basically between the, the reputation and, and just hearing the feedback from people that have attended uh, and just the breadth of the, the topics and the quality of the speakers, uh, probably exclude myself out of that, but, but you get my point. Um, yeah, it was quite, quite an attraction and just having, you know, the conference has just started, uh, but it's great bumping into a bunch of old friends as well and uh, look forward to the next couple of days. Well, Colin, thanks for being part of the conversation today. No worries, thank you.